Howdy folks, Rob Maximum RD here. I'm gonna speak a little louder because I know sometimes the volume is low. I don't know why. I've tried everything. It's on my iPad mini that I record. So I've made sure that the microphone is clean, cleared out, blown out, however you want to say it. I'm gonna lean this up against here and hopefully it won't. Hopefully I'm somewhat in focus. I don't know. Maybe not. Is it going to stay? No. Of course not. Let's try that. Hoping, hoping I'm in focus here. Um, so yeah, anyways, I received a package. It's a few days ago now. This one right here. Um, I knew it was coming. I'm pr pretty sure I know what it is. We discussed it. I definitely know what it is. Um, but you don't, so let's get right to it. We'll open this up. This is from Jake, by the way, aka, aka, MN12 Bird. That is his YouTube name, username, MN12 Bird. If you don't know him, uh, well, you should. Why am I having so much trouble opening this package? Um, you may already be subscribed to him, so there's two kinds of people on YouTube. People who are subscribed to him and people who need to subscribe to him. So make sure you check out his channel in the links in the description. He's been around a long time in this hobby of retro gaming and computing and does all kinds of stuff like Game Boy restorations and fixes things up. So you'll definitely want to take a look at his channel. It does amazing work. And uh, be careful here. Hopefully, this is still recording. The thing with a touch screen iPad. Hmm. Did it escape? It may have escaped its plastic <laughs> casings here. So I got to be careful because I know what it is. Eh. All right. Let's try. There's a package in the package. What the? Wait. Oh, okay. So it must be in this box, because this is not what we discussed. Obviously, uh, well, no, you wouldn't know. But this is this says HDMI video capture, um, which is not the box I was expecting to see. But that's yep, yeah, that's all that's in here. So it was this smaller box in this large box, and this is not the small box I was expecting to see. But that's not what's in here. At least I don't think that's what's in here. No. Okay. So <laughs> uh, it would have been a mistake if it, if it was that, actually. So this is what it is. That's one part right there. I'm going to take that out. I'm going to take out this next piece. Ah, yeah. Okay. That's looking right. All right. So I might not be able to tell. So anyway, he had been... Uh, assembling these items here out of Lego. He often models Lego and uh, uses some kind of program to render Lego pieces and uh, put things together. He's created the wallpaper for uh, my Facebook gaming group, making some nice retro consoles out of uh, rendered Lego images. I don't know if I'm saying all this correctly, but, um, but this he got the different pieces for. I don't know if he designed all the pieces I, or he just he ordered the specific pieces. I'm not sure on the exact uh, procedure here, but there's three little plastic bags here. And when you take each piece, okay, so that's, okay, I wanna get it nice and safe. That's one piece right here. Might give you, you might be able to start to tell. And oh geez, I probably got a horrible backlight. It's, you know, I've been horrible with doing videos lately. I should have shut that light off behind me. So I don't know if you're getting this or not. I'll play back the video afterwards and probably be really pissed at the crap quality job I did. So that's one piece. And this is the next piece. Oh, there's a couple pieces there. I'm gonna be careful here. So when it's all put, to oh, okay, I see why this is going. When it's all put together, it will, create a replica of a classic console that uh, I hope that we all admire and love. 
And that's the third piece. Oh, I have to be careful. One of them came off. All right, I see where this is going. So let me put this piece back on here. All right, so far so good. And then we snap that piece on. Oh, I see. I can see why he didn't want to have it all assembled in the box. That could have caused a problem. But essentially, it's three pieces. You know, I was supposed to watch a video ahead of time on how this went together. But of course I didn't. Oh, I think like this. Okay. Sometimes you just have to improvise. Which I'm not doing very well, apparently. Let's get this together here. Come on. It's a little tricky. He told me. Worst video ever. Oh, Rob, you should have watched the video. Okay, he, he was, was kind enough to send me in a, a message, a, a a private video, so I could see how to do this properly. But I think that's it. I think, okay, so we're looking good. We're looking good so far. There you go. All right, so again, I'm sorry for the horrible backlighting. One last piece here. Just got to push that in the middle. And there we go. So there it is it is a tiny little atari 2600 what is this a vcs for ants anyway and there we go and then of course you can't have the console without its iconic replica of its iconic controller joystick right there the classic one button controller so there we have six switch atari 2600 with a cartridge there Alrighty, we got the wood grain color. Well, it's not wood grain, but it's, oh, it's is it wood grain? No, it's just brown. It's the right color. Uh, there you go. And the matching controller. Oh, look at the little controller. It's so tiny. <laughs> there you go. That's really cool. So thank you very much, Jake. Again, check out his channel, MN12Bird. He's into all the stuff we are into. This has been delayed uh, for a few days because things have been just crazy. We're getting new appliances, things like that, all kinds of stuff you don't care about. So I'm not going to get into all that. Um, but there you go. That's that. Please still be recording. Please, please. And we are. And yes, I still got to get to this. The Stranger Things standalone along with my uh, portable uh, Game & Watch Mario. I still need to demonstrate these. It's been just a hectic, hectic, hectic month. So um, hopefully sometime soon, once we get all past that. Now let's get back into proper lighting here, at the very least at the end here. If you didn't see it already because of this incredible backlight that I had going on, uh, once again, there, get some good lighting here. Hopefully it's in focus. But there's the uh, Atari 2600 6 switch. I love that. It's really cool and the with a cartridge with the little joystick to go with it so i have a specific spot for that and it's right over here to show you I have a very good reason because this is the computer monitor I'm si there's his channel mn12 bird there's the uh, monitor i sit in front of all day and it's bigger than i thought thought it would be so it might have to be the main thing here I don't know if that will I think that works pretty good so right by my monitor here on display under my light I like to turn this on in the evening when it once the sun goes down so there right beside that and my PC it's his it's place of display right there Just bring back the nostalgia and my memories Thanks again, Jake. I really appreciate that. It was very nice to think of me and send me that. I originally, I didn't know it was this big. I thought it'd be like maybe half the size. I don't know why, because I'm an idiot. <laughs> and I thought I'd have them both on display right here. This is a Casio, Casio, iconic, classic looking Casio that he sent me a while back. Uh, but that will go here now. I thought they could be side by side, but this will have to do. And I like to keep it like that, because when I'm not out wearing it, it's right there. I can just peek at the time. I mean, sure, yeah, I could just peek at my monitor, look at the time right there in the corner. 
But why do that when you have goddamn Casio? That's the way to see the time. Classic. Two classic iconic pieces right there. Well, okay, and a replica of the 2600. Very cool. Good work, Jake. That's awesome. I love it. And again, as I said, and another speaking of uh, the nice place to keep something on display, I showed this a while back, my whole system that I have together here. But it's been a little messy lately. I'm thinking of integrating a recordable DVD unit there as well. Uh, Turbo Graphics, uh, ColecoVision, of course, center of attention. My little 14 inch color CRT. And right beside that, of course, is the Palace Arcade and Game and & Watch on my Atari coaster. So I'm keeping all the wonderful things that I've gotten recently and over the years, and it's just really cool. So thanks again, everyone. Uh, and again, thank you, Jake. Uh, MN12Birds, check out his channel. Link in the description. Rob out for now. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Oh yeah, I just, I had a blizzard earlier. I, uh, whoa, that was a cookie dough chocolate chip blizzard from Dairy Queen. Oh my God. It's been years since we've been to Dairy Queen. And I gotta say, you really do enjoy things when you haven't had them in a long time because that blizzard was like awesome. So there we go. I'm gonna fade out now. Thanks again. So cool. Oh yeah, and there's my pillbox. Oh, look at that. High blood pressure. High blood pressure. Got got out of my pillbox there. Amongst other things that help get me through these days. Bye-bye.